Why does something fog this mirror? Oh my god. Did you just say I taste good? Welcome to Mirror Mirror, an indie horror game from Dead Possum Games. The same developer behind Laundry Night, a horror experience I played a few months ago actually, and I absolutely loved it. In this game, we step into the shoes of Emily, who's thrilled to spend her first night in her newly purchased home. But her excitement quickly fades as she discovers that the house isn't quite as empty as she first thought. Something sinister lurks within the walls. I'm super excited for this one, but enough talk. Let's dive into some gameplay. Damn, we got one creaky door. You, I thought the boxes would never end, but I finally did it. Unpack the whole house, my own house. It's small, but cozy, and the price was right. My agent called it the bargain of the year, which is good because it took me forever to save up for the down payment. Damn. You ain't kidding. This is a nice house. For your first home, this is... This ain't bad. What what kind of job you got? You, you must have a pretty good job to afford something like this. It's like a... It's, yeah, it's kind of like a tiny little home, but it's well cozy. I mean, you got some banging furniture. I mean, TV's a little bit outdated, but everything else looks pretty good. I'm starving after all that manual labor. Good thing I ordered a large pizza for my move-in. <laughs> the, like, main food that you'll ever have in a horror game. Just pizza. Are we, we just having one slice? Hold on. Let me get the box. Oi. I, I'm not just having one slice. I've moved my entire house into, into this place. All this furniture I've moved in. And I'm treating myself to a single slice. Also, wh why have I done washing up? Uh, did I not just move in? <laughs> Damn, th this is such a nice kitchen. This is a gorgeous place. All right, I guess I'll have my one slice of pizza, if that's all I'm allowed. Sure. Oh, we're sitting down. All right. Oh, we got pizza-eating physics. <laughs> oh, man, I am stuffed. That sure hit the spot. I didn't invite any visitors over. Uh, do you mind? Uh, I just, I'm trying to eat my dinner here. Who could that be? I don't know anyone around here yet. Who is knocking on my door? Hello? Oh my god, you creepy man. Why are your hands so big? Oh my lord. A nervous looking man is standing outside. There are beads of sweat in his forehead. Bro looks so sketchy. Can I just shut this door? I, I don't want to interact with this man at all. Hey, uh... Nice to meet you. I'm Charles. I live across the street. <laughs> Hi, Charles. I'm Emily. I just moved in today. Sorry about the mess. I wasn't expecting visitors so soon. What do you mean, mess? This house is immaculate. It literally looks like we just moved in. It's perfect. Emily, don't don't be like that. All right, yeah. I um, I saw you eating dinner through the window and thought I'd say hi. Why is my new neighbor stalking me through the window? Why are you peeping on me, Charles? If you weren't creepy enough already... <laughs> you, 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 no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I've moved into the wrong neighborhood. I need to... <laughs> can I talk to my realtor? Can I get, can I get a redo? <laughs> he eyes me... His eyes avoid mine nervously. It's like he's looking for something behind me. You live here alone? Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Charles is gonna kill me. He, he's already looking. I've moved in. I've been in for like about 20 minutes and this guy's already planning my murder. Amazing. I groan internally. What's an internal groan? <laughs> what, what do you mean you groan internally? Great. Is my new neighbor a creep? Y yes, Emily. Your new neighbor is an absolute creep. I mean, look at him. He's not even just standing there like a normal person. He's like, he's shuffling around. And he with his big old lobster hands. Yes, bought the place myself, in fact. Oh, did the realtor tell you about the previous owner? Um, no. Previous owner? I don't remember that. Before I can respond, Charles flinches and turns pale. What do you mean, flinches? He's been flinching the entire time we've been talking. <laughs> sure, why not? Never mind, sorry. I uh, forgot something at home. <laughs> Why did he just leg it so fast? 
What the hell was that about? He was watching me through the window? Ugh. Whatever. I just wanted to relax on the couch tonight. Not worry about an icky neighbor. I'll just watch some TV and buy some curtains first thing tomorrow. Not a bad game plan. So this guy was just standing up there peeping. And then the moment I told him about the previous owner, he, he ran off. Where'd he even go? I, I can't see anything out there. He just ran into the distance. Charles is gone. Uh, so what do we want to do? We want to watch some TV. First, I'm going to have a look around the house. What we got here then? This is our utility cupboard. Oh my, we've got three rooms. Standard, nice bathroom. Oh, hello. It's me. Damn, that looked good. Nice little bathroom. Oh, cute bedroom. And what we got here? My gaming room. Sweet. With... <laughs> This house has got some, like, really, like, modern furniture, like this fridge and everything, the coffee maker, and then it's got some really archaic stuff, like the TV and this computer and this phone. <laughs> sure, why not? Anyway, what are we doing? We want to watch some TV before bed? Can this thing even get TV? Get TV? Can this thing even get channels? I don't even think it's plugged in. All right, let's give it a go. What we got, then? We got Modern Family? Let's work on some Modern Family. Many things in this, this is not modern family. Do not last very long. But the wrath of a woman scorned. Is this Nosferatu? A long, long what am I watching? Even centuries. Oh, is that my phone or is that the TV? Oh. I think that's my phone. Hold on, hold on. I'm just watching my favorite film. Oh, come on. Who would call me at this hour? It's probably Charles, to be honest with you. I mean, if he's already creeped on my door and walked in, practically walked in, I wouldn't be surprised if he's somehow worked out what my number is. But yeah, let's find out. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh, I want to see you. Oh, I want to see you. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Is that is that sweaty guy Charles calling me now? Forget it. I'll deal with him tomorrow. Oh, fuck me, Charles. Why? What is wrong with you? What what neighborhood have I moved into? I thought this was a nice area. The realtor really sold it to me. You know, they said nice family area, good for kids, and they didn't mention Charles. Charles wasn't here when I was when I was looking at the place. Oh. Now I'm stuck with this creep. I guess it wasn't him on the phone. Oh. Oh no, it wasn't even Charles on the phone. So I've got a creepy person calling me on the phone and I've got Charles peeping through my window. Jesus Christ. God, this whole neighborhood filled with weirdos. Uh, yeah, it seems like it. Um, I'm so tired, I just wanna sleep. Gotta brush my teeth and wash my face first. Yeah, fair. No shower? That's all right. Okay. This is a pretty good mirror, actually. Uh, you mean, you'd hope so when the game is called Mirror Mirror. <laughs> all right, what we want to do? Get ready for bed. All right. Open the medicine cabinet. Uh, we want to brush our teeth. Oh, there we go. Perfect. A little bit of brushy brushy. I like how, I like how the face moves. That's cool. I'm I'm really concerned something's gonna pop up in this mirror now. Back to your home toothbrush. Who talks like that? <laughs> uh. Oh no. What was that? That was not Charles, that was something else entirely. Um I don't think you're seeing things, Emily. I think that was just a creepy man. Oh my god. I just gotta wash my face and I can finally go to bed. Um... Can I, like, call the police? Are you not concerned that there was just a man, like, rubbing your shoulders whilst giggling? No? You, you okay with that? Is that just normal? I suppose we've rationalized it now since we've dealt with Charles, so now these things just seem normal. Alright, let's wash our face. That water looks really hot. Are you sure that you want to stick your face in that? You're going to get third degree burns. Oi! Let's unfog this mirror. Oh my god.
Did you just say I taste good? Why are you making this sound like it's not something that it is? Emily, there was literally a creepy man telling you that you taste good and you're just like, oh, I'm exhausted, I'm seeing things. It's just my mind playing tricks on me. Emily, please. <laughs> Screw this weird night, bedtime. Are we just leaving the water in the sink? We're not washing our face. All right, fair. So we got creepy Charles outside, creepy poltergeist man inside, and we're just going to bed. Okay, fair enough. Let's, let's just get some shut eye, I guess. That's tomorrow's problem. That was a big old yawn. Why, why are you yawning so loudly, Emily? Calm down. Oh, no. What is going on now? Can we just go back to bed? Yeah, I'm laying back down. Uh, that That's not my problem. Let's just go back to bed, Emily. Just, just please, just close your eyes. One more big yawn and we'll just, we'll just see the night out, yeah? Do we really have to follow this light? Nothing good is going to come from following this light. Oh, fuck me. Okay, sure. Oh. I don't want to go in the bathroom. That's where creepy poltergeist man is. You know, Charles? Charles, I know you're out there. Do you want to come in here and give me a hand? I'm, I'm pretty scared. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck me. You... Wait, am I the poltergeist? I'm so confused. Whoa! Oh, why? Oh my god, why did he grab me? I was not expecting that. That <laughs> At first I just thought it was funny and then he absolutely reached out through the mirror and oh, that got me. That got me good. Oh, it was just a nightmare. Okay, we rationalizing things again, Emily. Wait, what is that knocking sound? Oh no, it's still pitch black night. Can I turn the lights on? No. Okay, must be loose hinges. Guess I'll call a handyman in the morning. While I'm here, I need to use the bathroom. Emily, we have been in this bathroom two to three times already, and every single time we've gone in there, nothing good has come of it. Are you sure? that you want to go in there again. Like, is that the best decision that we can make right now? Like, like, really, please. Are you sure about this? Is this really what you want to do? Can't, Charles? Charles, I know you're out there. Please, you can spend the night sleeping on the settee. I know you want to, you little creep. Okay, I guess we're going in. We're gonna die in this bathroom. I'm not making it out of here alive. All right then. Oh, fuck me, you creepy bastard. Wake up, Emily. This is just another dream. Emily, you are so deluded right now. I don't think this is a great dream. Um. Oh, fuck me. No, get me out. Get me, shut, shut the, you stay in there. <laughs> you stay in there. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> okay. Shh. If we pretend to be asleep, he can't hurt us. Nothing can hurt us when we're in bed. If we put the covers over our head, nothing can get us. That's what I was taught as a kid. All right, I think if the, the music's still going, I don't think this is the right play. Um, computer, can I call the police? No, we're not calling the police. Can I leave the house? Is that the play? Oh, TV's on. Modern Family? All right. Uh, uh. Oh my God, no. Please. Don't you- Oh my god. Wait. Where am I now? Oh my god, I've been kidnapped. Am I just in a box? Where the hell am I? And who is that? Wait, that's me. I'm in the mirror. He's took, he's taken me into the mirror. Wait, does that mean that I'm the creepy little man now? <laughs> this is the worst first night of moving into a house ever. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Please get me out of here. 
Lady, I'm talking to you. Can you can you help me out? Oh, fuck me. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> now you're fired. Oh my god, that got me. <laughs> well, that was Mirror Mirror, and just like Laundry Night, that was a good one. Short and sweet, but it had the jump scares where it needed it. In fact, I'd probably say that was a bit of a step up from Laundry Night in terms of spookiness. I kind of hope that maybe Charles would have played a bit more of a role, other than creepy lobster hand man that ran around, but yeah, I thought the poltergeist was pretty scary and it got me a few times. Um, and I like the story as well, so yeah, if you like the video, give it a like and uh, subscribe. It helps the channel. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.